And this morning's other top story, the Kyle Rittenhouse jury deliberating now for a fourth day. We'll take you live to Kenosha for an update with national correspondent Mike Carter standing by for us live there with the very latest. And I see folks already gathered behind you. Yeah, starting to gather uh, Sean and Emma. The uh, jury was expected to be in the courthouse and begin deliberations last hour. I'll get out of the shot so you can see what we're looking at here on the steps. Just a few protesters, and this has kind of been typical every day this week uh, as jury deliberations have gone on. You've seen a, a spattering of people showing up early in the morning, and then as the day continues, uh, this crowd grows larger and larger. Uh, pretty quiet right now here in Kenosha County Courthouse, uh, As but we do anticipate things to ramp up throughout the day. We are learning new information about one of the felony charges Kyle Rittenhouse is facing. Uh, this one having to do with recklessly endangering a man with a deadly weapon who was never identified during the trial. Now, video footage shows the man kicking Rittenhouse in the face and knocking him down. Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse then firing his rifle twice but missing the man. And the jury needs to determine if this was a reckless act. Well, the prosecution says it didn't know the name of this man or his identity in any way, and there was no way of finding that out. But this was a problem for Rittenhouse's defense team as it never had a chance to cross-examine this person. The Daily Mail is now reporting that it learned of that man's identity by the name of Maurice Freeland. And according to the Daily Mail, Freeland admitted to attacking Rittenhouse moments before Anthony Huber, one of the men shot and killed by Rittenhouse, started attempting to hit Rittenhouse in the head with a skateboard. According to multiple reports, Freeland told prosecutors he would need immunity before agreeing to go on the stand as a witness. And before the Rittenhouse incident, Freeland had been charged with battery, domestic abuse, among other criminal charges. So what this means that is uh, in this incident, of uh, these shootings uh, involved in this case by Kyle Rittenhouse, every person uh, Kyle Rittenhouse either shot at uh, or near uh, had a violent criminal background. Now, what's important in this uh, to remember is the jury is not aware of this fact with Mr. Freeland. They don't know of his background since he was never brought up during the trial. And this is another bit of information on top of the two versions of drone video that the defense team can point to and say the prosecution did not divulge all of the evidence and information in this case. Uh, so wherever we uh, Wherever things iron out in this trial, uh, this is something that the defense team can look at and say, you know, we weren't given all of the information in this trial. Yeah, and we still don't know what's going to happen. We don't have a verdict yet. Deliberations continue. There are opportunities for a mistrial that has not been ruled on by Judge Schroeder. We continue to monitor. It's almost in a, in a pause phase right now. Nevertheless, we're staying on top of it there. And yeah. so is Mike Carter live for us there in Kenosha. Mike, thank you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.